Lack of consent is an essential element of a battery claim. In Neal v. Neal, we explore whether a plaintiff's consent is effective, even if it's predicated on a mistaken belief. Thomas Neal cheated on his wife, Mary, with Jill Lagasse. While the affair was ongoing, Thomas had sexual relations with both Mary and Jill. At the time, Mary didn't know that Thomas was being unfaithful. Thomas subsequently filed for divorce in the magistrate's court. Mary counterclaimed for divorce based on Thomas's adultery. Mary also asserted a variety of other counterclaims, seeking to recover damages that she allegedly sustained as a result of Thomas's infidelity. The magistrate's court found that Mary's damages claims were beyond its jurisdiction. Ultimately, Mary's damages claims were transferred to the district court, while the magistrate's court presided over the divorce proceedings. Thomas moved to dismiss Mary's damages claims in the district court. The district court converted Thomas's motion to dismiss to a motion for summary judgment and entered summary judgment in his favor. Mary appealed to the Idaho Court of Appeals. On appeal, Mary argued that she was, at the very least, entitled to recover nominal damages because Thomas had committed civil battery. Although Mary consented to having sexual relations with Thomas, she argued that her consent didn't bar her battery claim because she would not have consented if she'd known that Thomas was also sleeping with Jill.